Hello guys, here's a deck tech of my mono red build, which has done decent for me. Two fourth place finishes, and it's pretty consistent. Now the deck is a standard mono red build, but I'm going to break through each card and what its purpose is. Um, of course, four Stromkirk Nobles. They're the one drop that can be blocked by humans, and they get counters to them every time they deal damage. So four of those. You're hoping to get that turn one. Or two. Uh, your second one drop or life payer is gut shot. This card is one of the highest best cards in the format right now because it killed all the little creatures like the Strong Kirks. It kills champion of the parishes. It kills birds and elves. It's just a beastly card right now. And instead of just paying the mana, you could just pay the life. So any deck runs this, especially the illusion decks. So if you can't turn one, hit him with this. Or I mean, sorry, turn two, hit him with this, and set it up for the berserker. You could just gut shot. I have one slot for a galvanic blast. It's foil, and it's a good card. So just one of. It does an extra two damage, which is good. Um, and my final one drop is Grim Lava Mancer. Late game, you have a lot of burn spells in the graveyard, and you want to exile them and do damage. Here's your guy. Just two. You don't really need three or four because, I don't know, it's just too much for Grim Lava Mancer. You don't need too many of those. So I got two in the deck. And like I was saying before, with the uh, Gut Shot or the Stromkirk, here's your second guy, the Stormblood Berserker. If this drops, it's pretty hard to deal with because it can't be blocked except by two or more creatures, so he's hard to get past. And he's going to be a 3-3 three, three with the Bloodthirst, so it's pretty damn good. You don't want to miss that. Another good uh, turn 2 move is the Shrine of Burning Rage. This thing goes insane. One or two of these out, three, go for it. But just having one or two of these things explode to 9 or 10... 11, 12, in like 3 or 4 or 5 turns, these things blast up. It's just casting, so if it gets countered, you still get the counter. And this thing could kill you. Uh, Crusaders, it could kill you anything. And could, I beat an opponent by using 2 of these, and I cracked both and did 26 damage for fun. But these things go up high, so make sure you get these out as fast as you can. Um, now here's some burns that are also two drops that help pump it up. I got four incinerates. Um, creatures can be regenerated once this uh, hits them, so it's pretty helpful. And three damage to the face or three damage to a creature you want to get rid of, and it also builds your shrine up. Um, Arc Trail is also a very big card right now. Kills illusions off. This card is beast. I mean, you can just do one to a Birds of Paradise, two to the face, one to a Champion of the Parish, two to like a Vanguard, whatever you want to do. Or do two damage to Lord of the Unreal, and then one damage to Phantasmal Image, or Delver, or whatever you want to do. I mean, this thing is just beast. This card's deadly. Now the three drops. Just, there's only one, three, oh, there's two three drops, sorry. We have Chandra's Phoenix. It's great turn three. It's Flying Haste. And if it dies, you just do a burn spell and get it right back to your hand. But the burn spell has to be to their face, not to a creature. So, very effective. Unless they nil spell bomb or sever the bloodline, you're screwed. Whatever. And then I have four Brimstone Valley. I got rid of the um, Volt Charges because these, I think Morbid set up more because I have all the burn spells. So I gut shot a creature, three mana, do five damage. That's two counters to my Shrine and Burning Rage, and five damage, so I think this is a lot stronger than most people say it is. And I have three Koth Hammers, Koth, whatever you want to say, but once he hits, he's damn beastly, and I win every game when he's out, because he's a tough Planeswalker to deal with in Mono Red. So, he speaks for himself. And three Hero of Oxid Ridge. They're good against token decks, little creatures, and... It has haste and it's beast. So, just three is good. My mana base is 18 mountains and four rootbound cracks for ancient grudge. On to the sideboard. What's a red deck without four Volshock refugees? Pro red. It's a mirror match kind of card. 
I got one foil in there, which is pretty cool. One Manic Vandal. Uh, kill like those Batter Skulls or Swords. Uh, one Tertalia's Blood. One, it's foil too, so this card helps out with the big creatures and you take control of it. Especially Titans, because then you can do the ability. Uh, four Ancient Grudge, which is the reason I have Root Bound Craigs in the deck. Two, one colorless, one red to do it, and then flashback green to do it again. So, very good against Tempered Steel, Tezzeret decks, Artifact decks. Um, I'm running two Dismembers for cards I can't get rid of, or cards that are just hard to deal with, which is really helpful. Like Shrinking a Titan or Shrinking a Worm Coil is helpful. And then three Slag Storms because these cards are just a game saver. Clears the board, doesn't target anything, it just clears the board. Or if you have to do it to the face, go for it. But clear the, clearing the board is a feast. So that's my 75 card deck with the 15 card sideboard, which means I have a 60 card deck and a 15 card sideboard, sorry. Um, it's really good. If you want to try it out, go for it because it's really effective. It's powerful and it's hard to deal with because it's super aggro. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what I should take out, what is looking good, and just let me know if you make the deck, and uh, tell me your results. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.